Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Monday, April the 5th. So Benji Madden gets in the boxing ring with none other than former MTV VJ's, VJ Ricky Ratman. And who do you think took the fight? Well, after a minute and 40 seconds and three knockdowns on the butt, the referee raised Benji Madden's glove in celebration. Ricky Ratman didn't take it too well. Pretty embarrassed to have lost to a dude from Good Charlotte. But Benji said he took the backhanded compliment anyway and then spent the rest of the night with his sweetie, Holly Madison. Now, Shaquille O'Neal's being double teamed by two women in his life, his wife and his mistress. Now, Shawnee filed for divorce back in November of 2009, and she had a prenuptial agreement with Shaquille, but she wanted to get a little bit more money out of this deal. So she hired an investigator to follow him around, and the investigator found out that Shaquille's been having this years-long affair with this woman named Vanessa Lopez. Now, Shawnee went to Vanessa not to tear her apart, but to ask Vanessa to go public with this affair and the details so it would help Shawnee get more money out of the situation. Well, Vanessa didn't come forward at the time like Shawnee wanted her to. Instead, she lawyered up. Yep, she called up Gloria Allred like every other mistress does in Hollywood, apparently. She is the representative for the women wearing scarlet letters. Anyway, uh, she is now filing a lawsuit against Shaquille claiming that he harassed her, assaulted her, intimidated her, had his friends bully her into keeping her mouth shut. So it's going to get even uglier as we head towards divorce for Shaquille O'Neal. Now, Charlie Sheen had a bit of a change of heart, even if he was serious about leaving two and a half men in the first place. It looks more like it was a ploy to get more money out of CBS. Charlie's acting career, except for TV, is pretty ice cold. The movies aren't really coming in, and he really needs the money right now because not only does he want to support his lifestyle, he wants to keep things as they are, he's going to have some huge legal bills coming up because he have to, has to defend himself in these assault charges against him from the Christmas Day incident where he's accused of choking and threatening to kill his wife, Brooke Mueller. Angelina walked out of Jersey Shore halfway through the first season, so she was really just pretty much forgotten by the time they brought everybody back for the cast reunion. So how surprised are you to hear that MTV is bringing Angelina back for season two down in Miami? Now that show starts filming this week. Angelina tweeted something over the weekend about how this is probably going to be my last tweet for a while. Thanks for all the love and support. And then mentioned JS2 saying it was possible because of the fans. And the only other news we're really hearing out of Miami so far is Ronnie has been a huge hit. He was spotted hanging around Miami and caused quite a stir, so much so that he even overshadowed the presence of Sir Paul McCartney, who checked into his hotel virtually unnoticed because Ronnie from Jersey Shore was in the area. And then finally, Jesse James and Sandra Bullock, still number one on the showbiz top five. Now, Jesse has checked out of sex rehab only after a week of treatment, not because he was cured, but because he was upset that Sandra wasn't returning any of his phone calls. The only reason he checked in, obviously, was to get her to see that he was going to play ball and you know, try to do whatever he could to save the marriage and hoping that she would see this as a sign and stop the divorce. But since she didn't, he's like, I'm getting the heck out of here. So he's gone. Sandra is plowing forward with this divorce, getting all the paperwork in order. One thing she doesn't have to worry about, though, is her money. Looks like she's not going to have to pay Jesse James one thin dime because she had an ironclad prenup that stated if he cheated on her during the marriage, he wouldn't get any of her money. But Jesse's not going to be in the poorhouse or anything. He has a pretty good living from West Coast Choppers and his TV deals, but he doesn't make Sandra Bullock money, and she's going to get to keep all of that. And that is your Showbiz Top 5 for Monday.